Hey everyone, it is so good to be with you today as we continue walking through 1 Corinthians 13. And today I want to spend some time specifically looking at a critical aspect of love. And in verse 6 we read as Paul records that love does not delight in evil. Now, I don't know about you, but this truth about love is something I would probably say is obvious, though I don't always find myself living it out. So what does it mean? that love does not delight in evil. It helped me understand what Paul was saying here a bit more clearly by looking at the New Living Translation of this passage as it records, it does not rejoice about injustice. Oh man, does that put some things in perspective for me. Love does not rejoice about injustice. We live in a world filled with injustice, don't we? A culture where we are nervous to even glance at a newspaper to see the most recent of tragedies. But even amid this, we can find ourselves in a space where we are filled with so many critical perspectives. We may see an entire people group hurting, yet rejoice when affliction comes their way. We may shrug off the stories of pain others are walking through because we are critical of their past. It is so easy to take delight in evil, to rejoice about injustice, but this is so counter to the basics of love. See, when we take delight in evil or find happiness in injustice, we are failing to experience the fullness of the love God designed for us to share in. Love seeks the truth. Love rejoices in the hope and beauty of who Jesus is. It can be so easy for me to dwell on the injustices others have shown towards me, constantly building up more and more bitterness. But then, when I stop to consider the injustice I have shown towards God, I, I'm just speechless. And, and you know what is amazing? That doesn't stop God from continually extending his love to me. And the same is true for you. God does not delight in evil. He doesn't rejoice about injustice. His love is rooted deeply in the truth of who he is. And his love is constantly reaching out towards you. I hope today that you find encouragement in this very aspect of love, and that as you seek to love others more clearly, like Christ loves you, that you remember that love never delights in evil.